What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 Veterans League 2021. T20 Veterans League 2021. We have fixture number nine, and we're in round three. The Lee Capitals taking on Wellington Firebirds. The Lee Capitals coach is Cheeky Pete, or Petsky, or I don't know what he goes by these days, but Pete is his name. Wellington Firebirds coach is... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Parav. Parav. Parave. Parav. That's his name. Said it right the first time, I think. I don't know why I said it three times wrong afterwards. Any which ways. This is the game. This is the league. If you want to know the rules, check the description. I've uh, left a short summary there. You can click on the eye icon in the top right corner. It'll take you to the draft video, which explains the rules as well. And if you want to participate, become a channel member. And, you know, hit me up on any of the Instagram, I mean, any of the social media accounts, Instagram or Twitter, or, or already gone on your screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Here we go. Game number, Shah. All the games in this league are in the... In the? In the beginning, in, uh, are in India, is what I meant to say. There are the lineups. There's the pitch condition. Two captains, both with the shades on. But the boss is rocking a special sort of shades that just separates him from the rest. It's Coley, though. King Coley, to who've won the toss. And he's elected to have a ball first. Mid stock to open a bowling for Wellington. It'll be the boss, Chris Gale, to face the first delivery from Starkey Boy. And, well, there you have it. That's how it's done. The Gale Storm have... Big gun, I'm doing a Gale career mode, by the way, so if you're interested in that, check that out as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's nick that one. That'll be four. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah, Finchie, yeah. he's taking him on. That was perfect, really. He's come around the wicket. I was expecting him to bring it into the uh, right ender. But no, it's just a straight delivery. Yeah, ah, again, too much room. Stark is missing the line here. Very well played by Finchie. Two Aussies budging Ed. Finchie coming on top at the moment. Yeah. Oh, lovely. That is quite a shot. He's nearly smashed that one over the road for six. It's just one bounce and four it is. Yeah. Oh, cheeky. You don't see that too often from the big man, the boss. But he's done it, and he's done it pretty damn well, if I must say so. Oh, shot, he loves that shot. He's played it so many times already. He's played it yet again, and it's bringing him a lot of runs, so why not? Why not play it? Ooh, half a volley. Smashed away by Finchie over Miroff. He's in quite a mood here today. 21 he's on already of just 11 deliveries. Just under 200 strike rate. Shot, lovely. Over the bowler, Zed sends it right back to where it came from. Well, he actually sends it further than that. That's gone all the way. That's 50 varnish up between Finchy and Galesy. Shot. Like I said, he loves playing that cover. Loves playing it into the cover. I've seen him play it so many times and with success. He's done it here again to the Irishman this time. Next it. Ooh, tried to drive that one through cover. He's failed. He was successful. Pretty much every single time he split it before that delivery, but Ashwin comes in and says, you know what? That's enough of that. Let's change it up a bit. Let's see someone else. We've seen enough of you, Finchie. On your way. But the other's bad. He's gone for 29 out of 16. A very belligerent innings comes to an end. He was looking very dangerous. But he is no more. Alex Halesy, next man in. Galesy and Halesy. Now they do rhyme. Well, let's see how they bat. Are they going to bat in rhythm? Let's hope for Lily's sake they do. Oh, too wide. Why did he throw his bat at that one? That could have been given a wide, actually. But he's nicked it and it'll be given an out instead. Irfan Patan picks up a wicket, he's still got it. 
he has still very much got it he's got the big man the skipper himself well actually no that nipped back in that was actually pretty close to him in the end but it pitched really far away from him I think that's what threw him off then it dipped into him Shfikraim takes an easy catch behind the sticks Gale has he gone for 31 of 26 Brendan Taylor comes in next he's in pretty good form that's a good shot over cover has he found the rope yes just about four runs he collects Ooh, that was too close to the body. Still played it. A bounce short in front of the fielder. He'll pick up two runs. Desperate dive. Overthrows as well. Yep. Catch up. It's a no ball over point. They've got a fielder on the road, but he's not going to catch up. B. Taylor. Like I said, he's continuing his great form from the last game into this one. Yep. Shot. It's going to go to the boundary for four. Alex Halsey on 20 now of 24. He's gone quite slow. He's uh, much, much higher up than this normally. Oh, full toss is not going to cut it. That'll be another boundary. Still under 100. Uh, it's not good enough from Halsey's, well, his own standards that he set. It's not good enough for that. Next hit, no slips, and I think that'll be four. That's a pretty quick delivery, 147.3 clicks. Almost there, touching 150. Yep. Ah, next hit again, B. Taylor. Does not get a boundary here. we will pick up two runs. Uh-oh, bit of a mix-up. I have decided against it in the end, good decision. Ooh, that's a good shot. Now that's a gone ski. I ain't stopping that one. You've given him way too much room. And it wasn't full enough for it to be a wide Yorker. Oh, now that's a wide full toss. Now that's even worse. That's a gone ski as well. 48 he moves on to Bre Bre uh, what? Brendan Taylor. Yep. Nicks it. Gone. Four runs. Final leg up into the circle, and well, that's gone past him. Good shot. Got a fielder there, though. He's picked it up. Uh-oh. Alex Hale's in trouble, and it's a direct hit. He's gone. No, it's not Hale's, actually. It's Brendan Taylor, and he was on 49, and he's gone. He's not going to get his half ton. Oh, Hale's have done him dirty there. Hale's have done him dirty. That is unbelievable. Hafiz <laughs> with the bullseye he's gone for 49 Ajinkya Arahani comes in next oh what a shot that'll be four don't even bother run after that one now that's a gun ski Ashwin not too happy Ah, next hit, straight to the field, and that's the end of that inning. So 151 runs scored, which is not that many, but it's not too little either. It is very much defendable. I think the Diddley boys should be happy with that hole. They could have got more, though. Alex Hales just uh, didn't really pick up the pace all that well. He's going at a hundred strike rate. He's, he's better than that, definitely. Can, we've seen him go way higher than a hundred. He's very much capable of doing so, but today just, just wasn't his day. He did score a couple of runs, though, so that's something. But here we go. It's good broad. Well, the first delivery to Shekhar Dhawan, and Dhawan has smashed that one back over the bowler's head and onto the row for four. What a start to the game, to the innings, I mean. Okay, well, he's not done. There's another one. Two for two. 400 strike rate. Love that. Let's see how long we can keep this up. Thick edge. No fielder there. That'll be four. That's gone. That is four. Next hit. This time, D does not get lucky. That's gone straight to the wicket keeper and Mohamed Shami strikes 
It's the first wicket. It's a big one as well. It's Mohamed Afiz, who's uh, such an exceptional T20 player. He's an asset to any team he joins, but he wasn't too great here. Gone for four or five. 80 strike rate. They did not let him settle in. VK next in. Oh, K is taking him on off his legs. And he's cleared them all. That's got over the rope. And a maximum result. Shikhar Dhawan. Look at that. Boom. That was quite a hit. He's middle there. Brilliant. Yes. He smashed that one. Shikhar Dhawan in his, uh, is in quite a mood here today. I think he's going to be the key here for uh, Wellington Firebirds. Good shot, keeps it along the ground, keeps it classy. Same result though, 22 of 10 deliveries, that's 220 strike rate. Yes. Uh, flicks it again, keeps it along the ground, keeping it classy, keeping it cool. 26 of just 11, that is tremendous. Oh well, he's not done, he's not done. Let's try to go for the maximum. Nope, just one bounce and four little B, so that's 30 of 12 now. Oh, what a shot. That is good from VK. He was uh, quite at the other end. He was letting Sh Shikhar Dhawan do his thing. But now he's finally taken off as well. Oh, there it is. There's another one. He's going to move on to eight with that of seven. That's much better strike rate. <laughs> if he clears the fielder, which I think he has, oh, he's nearly cleared the rope. That's the fourth boundary in a row from Shikhar Dhawan. Oh, no, that's it. Gets an outside edge. The slower delivery does the trick. Scramble seam. Slight outside edge. Middle pole out. And the danger man, Shikhar Dhawan. Gone. I think Dhawan plays for Delhi Capitals in real life, doesn't he? He's playing against his former side. Suresh Raina, next man in. He's tossed that one up there. Nobody on the offside. He's given him way too much room. That's not a great delivery. It's been smashed. That's four runs. That's another one. Well, not worth bowling when you're giving him that much room. I mean, he's going to go after you. It's VK after all, and we've got no one on the rope, so it's just a freebie for him. Yes. Again, I don't know what's going on. Why are you bowling on the offside? You've got nothing there. When you've got men in the circle, but you need someone outside of the circle, this is a T20, mate. Yep. Get! All right, well... When it rains, it pours. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. he's taking it. What a catch. Now, how has he pulled that one off? So there's Ryan, eh? not too happy with himself, but it was an incredible catch. I did not really expect him to take that. I mean, look at that. I think it's, it's unbelievable. Who's that? I think it's Kimar Roach. Yeah, it is. Cotton Bolt. So there's Ryan, eh? going for a duck after four deliveries. Shfiqur Rahim, next man in from Bangladesh. Oh, shot. Got a fielder on the road, we might pick it up. Nope, ah, it's gone for four. Six of seven, he's on now. Slowly in there. Oh, that's a cheeky shot from VK. A risky one, but it's paid off. Shot into extra cover, that'll be four. 11 of 9 now. He's officially over 100 strike rate. Yep. Oh, good shot. Very good shot. Over Gully and onto the road for four. Wellington is in control now. 
Philly will need to pick up a couple of uh, wickets here. Well, that's not going to help. Dilly, that is. It's definitely going to help Wellington, that's for sure. But Dilly, if they're to win this game or even make a comeback, they have to pick a couple of wickets here. There it is. There's the first one. Mush, gone. Gone for 19 of 17. Jadeja strikes. Finally, he's got some fielders on the rope on the offside. And look at that. Just like that, it's worked. It's worked like a charm. Because now we had to adjust before. They had no one on the rope. So VK it was, who was given just a free license to go over the top on the offside. Because there was literally no one there. So all he had to do was clear the inner circle. It didn't matter which direction it went in. Oh, what a delivery. He's got him. That's it. That's what I want. What I was talking about. They've got him. Two wickets. I think he was expecting that to turn a bit more than it did. He's an off spinner. He's a pretty decent off spinner, Chris Gale. And it didn't turn at all. It just kept going straight. And I think that's what's beaten Pollard there. He was expecting that to come into him a bit more. He's missed the line and he's, well, the ball hasn't missed the stumps, that's for sure. Irfan Patan is the next man in. VK is still there and Irfan Patan is a pretty decent batsman as well. There you go. That, that right there, that shot sums it up. He's a very good batsman. There he goes again. That's another one. One bounce and four more runs. They have got a chance though, a massive chance here. Dilly to win this one. All they have to do is get the wicket of VK and then Wellington's in a bit of trouble. That's a good shot, that's a very good shot, but it is Super V though, King Coley. It's not that easy to dethrone the King. He's taking him on, that's a very well played shot. Well placed as well, he realised there's a long gone. So he went into the long golf region. Yep. Good shot, there's a fielder on the rope, is he going to take it? He's going to yeah. take it, that's the end of VK. Alright, things are getting a bit interesting now. That's another wicket by the boss. And he's still got the shades on, like a boss. Like I said, if you're a fan of Chris Gale, which by the way, if you're a fan of cricket, then you're a fan of Chris Gale, because come on, who doesn't love Chris Gale? Doing a Chris Gale career mode at the moment. Go check it out. You might enjoy it. Virat Kohli gone for 46, just four runs short of his 50, but a very good innings nonetheless. He's gone at a very high strike rate. So now we've got bowling all-rounders, two of them on striker Van Patan and Ashwin. Uh oh, am I being trouble? Ooh, no, they've made it back. The thing here is, they're doing okay with the rate. Uh oh, that's a Skya. That's not easy to take. Is he gonna take it? Yes, he is. That's the end of Irfan Patan. Okay, this is. Uh... <laughs> See, this is what I was saying. They don't need to take any risks. The problem here isn't the asking rate it's the fact that they don't have too many wickets in hand and too many good batsmen and if they lose the wickets that hurt a lot more than if it's just a couple of dots so they can afford dots especially Irfan Patan I mean he was going at over 170 strike rate Mitch Stark now he can whack him out as well oh lovely that is innovation right there saw the gap Went for it. Gonna pick up three, I think. Yep, three runs taken. Now they're not slowing down. Now that is positive cricket, and I like that. But if they lose another wicket, well, might be a whole different story. Oh, there it is. But if it works, though, if it works, and it is working. Well, there's nothing better than it. Gale Z, not too happy with himself, Z. What? Good shot. It's out of the gap over the extra cover as well, and that'll be four more runs. Ashwin is in top form. He's just scored 100 in test. 
good shot again goes into that cover region there'll be another boundary just six more runs needed now Gill backed himself but he's given up quite a lot of runs oh that's another boundary that's gone no that's gone you ain't stopping that one that's a gone ski that's four boundaries and that over that is uh you know, Gale brought him back into the game. Let's not kid ourselves, but Gale also gave away the game right there. Okay, well, that's gone. That's four runs, and that's the match done and dusted. Mitch Stark finishes it off in style. Wellington have won the game. The Firebirds with their first victory in the season. They've won it by three wickets. Illy Capitals. Not a great start to the season for them. They'll have to regroup, reassess the situation. It's not working, whatever they're doing at the moment. I'll have to bring a bit of change. Seven wickets for Mohamed Nabi at the top. Five for Gale. He almost changed that game for the Lee Capitals there, but uh, now we have three players in the triple digits. Wellington Firebirds have their second win. Congratulations to the coach. Delhi Capitals, three losses on the trot. So, do let me know who do you think is going to finish uh, top four. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, hit the subscribe button, check out my other channels as well. Links to them will be in the description box below. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to participate, become a channel member. That's the surest way. Or go ahead and uh, follow me on my social media sites. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...